What's up, Matoya Mom? It's your girl, Matoya Twins. I'm Maya. And I'm Micah. And today, we are doing another singular color food challenge. Eating one color all day today. St. Patty's Day just passed, but your girls are so ahead on their videos that we're posting this after St. Patrick's Day. Someone please be proud of us. This has, like, never happened. So, in honor of St. Patty's Day, we're going to be eating nothing but green foods for the entire day. I don't even know what St. Patty's Day is. I don't know, but we're Irish. <laughs> We're gonna start off with breakfast. Mike has been up since 7.30. I just woke up, if you cannot tell. I don't know what it is, but my body woke me up at 7.30 and I got like right out of bed. And I went ahead and made what we're eating for breakfast, which is matcha chia seed pudding. Are you looking for it? Yeah. It's in the fridge. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Is it green? It is Kinda. green. So I made this matcha latte chia seed pudding this morning when I woke up. It was very, very green on Pinterest. It doesn't look green on camera, but it's a very light, faint green. Yeah. By the way, guys, all the recipes will be linked down below if you guys want to remake anything that we're making today. I just wanted to mention that I couldn't find matcha powder anywhere, but we're going to go look again today. So I had to use matcha latte powder, which I was like, that's perfect because it's literally matcha latte and chia pudding. Check out latte. So that might also be why it's not very vibrant. We're also going to be making avocado toast. I should probably mention I had cheese, strawberries, grapes, crackers, and a plate of chips and Tabasco at 3 this morning. So I'm not even hungry. But I'm good to eat. So while Maya's making avocado toast, I'm gonna go ahead and make what we're drinking, which I drink this every morning, so this is nothing new for me. This is the Alani New Super Greens. It's just green juice. It's supposed to help with like bloating and digesting your food and stuff like that. It's really good. I've tried a lot of green juices and this is the one that tastes the best to me so far. And what better way to drink them than out of green glasses? We already had these. Don't think we went out and bought these. No, we already had these. Do you all know how to make toasts? I'll show you. Two pieces of desired bread. We only have whole grain white. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I don't really eat a lot of bread. I used to. Oh my gosh, it's not even plugged in. It's too early for me. Maya, what is your problem? I just woke up. I woke you up half an hour before we started filming. Yeah, it felt like two minutes. Ready. I have to do it like three times for it to be toasted. Know, toaster sucks. Oh wow, we're so LA. Chia seed pudding, matcha powder, and our wood spoon. My god. I don't like green juice. I like it. it tastes like lemon water to me. What? It's like sweet lemon water. I wish it tasted like Is lemon. something burning? That was perfect. <laughs> Brown? Michael likes hers before I toasted it. <laughs> These are walnuts. Check, you've been up since 7.30. You should be well aware of those weren't walnuts. Oh, those were walnuts. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm taking some granola and topping it on top of the chia seed pudding. My <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay, that is a lot. He told me to throw it back. A bow. So I said this mother on his lap. A bow. What was going to make the mm. You guys want to see our shuffles? 
got the concords. I got the fours. <sighs> okay, y'all, remember our only exception today is water. This honestly looks pretty good, but I'm still intimidated by the chia seed pudding. That's a lot of chia seed. Yeah, I didn't realize after I made it that it said it makes two servings. So we so got two four. servings, yeah. Good Lord. Cheers. Green juice is good. I just hate the texture. Yeah, that's all green juices though. Okay, let's try the cheesy pudding first because I'm scared. See, Micah likes matcha. I'm not crazy about it. So I'm a little nervy. Cheers. Hmm. It tastes like coconut milk. Yeah, there's coconut milk in it. Oh, really? Yeah. It's good. I like it. It's sweet. Mmm. It's good, Micah. Mmm. It don't taste like matcha. Yeah, y'all can't tell. It's like a pastel. Pastel green. Oh, there it is, yeah. See, there's the matcha. It's hard to mix, but it's in there, I promise. Me and Micah don't really do breakfast in the mornings, but this is light, so I wouldn't mind doing this. 10 out of 10. I wonder what avocado toast tastes like. Wow, we've really been looking like twins here lately. Who's who? I don't know. I don't chew like that. Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> Yes, you do. Y'all, breakfast was the meal I was least looking forward to, but we just started off with a banger. Oh my gosh, I didn't know how else to say that. This was- Banger! <laughs> this was really good. We just set the bar high. There we go, that's what I should have said. We just set the bar super high, but the meals that we have planned later today, I'm scared. You're scared? I'm scared to make them because they're yeah. pretty complex. Well, not really lunch, but dinner is, but they look so good. I hate the texture. I ate my toast. I drank my green juice. Now I got left is the chia seeds. This is really good. It's like dessert. I'm gonna have to snack on mine throughout the day. It's a lot of seeds for me. I'm full. I don't know how I'll ever eat again today. Good morning, y'all. I say good morning because I took a fat nap after I ate all that breakfast. I was so full. I don't know what it is, but... I don't know what it is, but anytime I eat, I'm just like exhausted and have to take at least like a 30 minute nap. That's terrible, I know, but it usually doesn't inconvenience me because I wait till like five o'clock to eat because I wake up late and then I stay busy until I decide I want to make something. Anyways, for lunch, we are making walnut pesto pasta. I say we because it's supposed to be me and Maya, but that chick is still asleep and I woke her up like three times. So she's just gonna stay there and miss lunch if that's the case. But I've never had this before and it looks delicious and the instructions are very self-explanatory you just gotta like blend all the ingredients to make the sauce boil your pasta water of course and then top it off with some lemon juice and parmesan cheese and you're good to go i'm so hyped i need to stop watching tiktoks you could tell my lingo is like all tiktok it's not okay Look who woke up just as soon as the food is ready. It's already ready?
Alrighty, y'all. That was a pretty easy to make. It just was time consuming just a little bit. I think it probably took me like 40 minutes to make, but here she is. It smells so good. I don't really like pesto, but it smells really good. It, to me, to me, it, to me, it smells like straight up garlic. Like all I'm getting is garlic. If you guys have any plans, you know, if you're having a date night, I probably wouldn't suggest you eat this. <laughs> and we also got some limeade. It looks so much paler on camera. It's green, y'all. It's green. We're not cheating. Ugh. Dang, it's already halfway gone. Lime juice first. Limey. Lemon. Did you shake it first? Yes. Woo! It's strong. Make my the sides of my jaw hurt. Ew, the way it the sounds. sounds. <laughs> Mine's so much neater than yours. Oh no, the sun's coming in on Micah. Cheers. It's straight garlic. I don't taste no pesto or nothing. What do you mean you don't taste no pesto? This is the pesto. I made the pesto. No, I know. I just taste garlic. I told you, it was a lot of garlic. I mean, it could use some flavor. Yeah, it's not that flavorful. Like, I thought I was gonna be kicking my tail. Mm -hmm. Like, I put a lot of lemon juice. It needs something more. It's really not flavorful at all. It's good though. It's all right. I give this like a six out of 10. Breakfast is way better. I give it a six out of 10 too. It's good though. It's not nasty. It just, like my cassette's missing something. Ugh. I wonder if I didn't put enough salt or something. You know what I think it is? On the recipe, it said to blend everything except the Parmesan and the pasta water. So I did just that. But I did notice in the video that they added to the recipe, they blended Parmesan in the pesto sauce as well. And I'm noticing that the more Parmesan I add, the more flavor it has. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if I was supposed to blend the Parmesan with the sauce and then top it as well with Parmesan. I just noticed that too. I just got a chunk of Parmesan and I was like, oh, more flavor. I like how for these videos, we don't go find foods that are already green. We're cooking. We've only done two of them, but still. Last bite. I didn't like it. Ugh. I was so excited for this meal. I thought it was gonna be so much better. She's tripping. It was good. I ate it all. Six out of ten. It was an average lunch. Still filled me up though. It was good regardless. It'd be a good like side dish to your dinner. Yeah, I'm sure with some chicken it would be good. I just probably wouldn't go out of my way to make it again. What is at our door? Look, in the camera. Is it the grill? It's the grill and the plant. <laughs> that looks it scary. Looks scary. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? It's approximately 10 minutes since you just last have seen what? It's been approximately 10 minutes since you just last seen us from eating the pesto pasta. And I want pickles. I don't know why, but I've been eating a lot of pickles lately. The spicy ones. So you know I got pickles for this video. Oh! Pickle juice helps with cramps. Cheers. Why are they so salty? Ah! Zero calories, y'all. But 270 milligrams of sodium. I don't know if that's bad for you, but I feel like it is. Salty. Okay, y'all, Micah's got me making these cookie dough matcha balls, protein balls. I don't know what they're called. Anyways, this chick didn't write down the ingredients for it, so we kind of sort of have everything we need for it. We're supposed to have vanilla protein powder. We have chocolate, so I think that's going to make it look like a doo-doo green instead of like a pure green. And then we're supposed to have almond flour, but I have nut flour, and it's like almond, coconut, pecan, and walnut. So we get more nuts in our balls. Mom's trying the pesto pasta. Try it, Mama. I have to warm it up. Oh, go ahead. I'm gonna just mix everything in together and then we will see how it turns out. And then I'll have Micah eat the balls when she comes home. Alrighty, 
y'all Micah's back home from the gym she did have to stop at the store because it said we couldn't use peanut butter and that's all we had so she had to go get cashew butter I've had to substitute a lot of ingredients because my kids didn't get I realized when I was walking on the Stairmaster, I was like, I wrote down three recipes. I know I did, but we did four. Wow. So I forgot to write down this one. That was my bed. Anyways, she brought me back home a McDonald's shamrock shake because I've never had one. And when would there be another time to try it, you know? Can I try it? I want to try it first. Before me? Yeah. Ew! What is it? I don't know what flavor it is. It's like mint chocolate chip without the chocolate chip. Okay, that's what Nee said it was gonna be. But I don't really like mint chocolate chip ice cream. The battery's gonna die. Great. Mint has been tasting really nasty to me, so. Yep, tastes like my toothpaste. It's not the shake, y'all. It's my taste buds. They're jacked up. So I'm starving because I died at the gym and came back to life. So I'm going to munch on some of these kiwis while we cook dinner and make the protein bites. Damn, this is a dry dough, Micah. Yes. Yes. They smell really good, actually. Why is it's it so all big? In my nails. I know. I made it really big. And lastly, we cook this, which then translates into more even cooking. Place it between two pieces of plastic wrap. The endless combinations for flavoring chicken. This is a mix one teaspoon of kosher salt, cracked black pepper, plenty of seasoning for four months. We got a lot going on right now, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this curry. Thai green curry noodle soup because I have no idea how long it's gonna take and there's so many ingredients. Maya's over there making dino eggs. <laughs> I finished the monster <laughs> balls. I didn't realize how much I grabbed when I made the first ball and I'm too lazy to take it apart and start over. So, they're huge. They look like potatoes, like baby potatoes. Oh my lamp. <laughs> they're humongous, they're huge. But Micah better be grateful because now they're all in my fingernails and it's so gross. Yeah, it looks like giant rabbit doo doo. I'm supposed to eat that now. It's gonna taste the same. It don't matter the size. Yeah, we just. Are you gonna sit here some... and tell me it's about size? She just compared my food to rabbit pellets. And now you want me to eat it? This was your food idea. You wanted matcha balls. Do I look like I eat matcha balls? I should dice up stuff before I start tossing it in there and then things start burning. Before we get into our exciting soup curry, we're gonna try the dino eggs. They're so massive. They're so big. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you were supposed to refrigerate them. They're supposed to be like cookie dough. You don't like matcha. They're just so dry. 
It's not cookie dough. It's good. It don't taste bad. It's just like, who would want this? <laughs> yeah, there's lots of other protein bites you can make. If you've ever had the green tea Kit Kats, it tastes like that, but less sweet. I give these like a four out of 10. They're okay. Thank you for making them. Ginormous. Yeah, maybe it would taste different if we had the right ingredients. Anyways, now for the exciting part. This looks bomb. Y'all see this? We put so much on top of it, you probably can't see the noodles and stuff. It looks so good. It looks like ramen, but it's supposed to be like a pho, but it's curry soup. <laughs> The recipe lied. It definitely took like two and a half hours to make with the both of us. We started cooking at 11. It is now one in the morning and we still have to stream. And it said it was gonna take 25 minutes. I hate these chopsticks because the noodles slide right through them. I can't even grab it. <laughs> okay, that's enough for me. How'd you get it? Ready? Yep. Oh, it's spicy. Mmm, pretty good. Ooh, it tastes exactly how it smells. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly how it smells. Healthy. No, this is really, really good. The chicken was optional, but I'm so glad I decided to make it because I think it'd be harder for me to eat this without like chewing on something else. <laughs> Does that make sense? These chopsticks are garbage. They're dookie. I was expecting it like to be a pho, but all the sauce is on the noodles. I feel like it's missing something though. Anytime we cook with green stuff, there's always like something bland about it, but it's still good. Regardless, it's good. I give it a, a 10 out of 10. I'll give it an eight out of 10. This with a nice Coke on the side. Ooh. That's it for this week's video, guys. We hope you enjoyed. I love doing these videos because we get to try new recipes. So let us know what color or food challenge y'all would like us to try next. If there's one meal I had to suggest you guys try from this video, I would definitely say either this if you have time to make it, or if you need something quick, the matcha chia pudding. That one was so good. It was. This week's post notification shout out goes to Marvi Golly. Golly. Golly, sorry. Thank you, Marvi, for liking this video, commenting tacos down below, subscribing to your girl's YouTube channel, and following your girls on IG and Twitch. If you want a post notification shout out in next week's video, all you have to do is everything Marvi Golly did. Yes. We're gonna go stream and finish our. <gasps> Excuse me and finish our chicken curry broccoli soup noodles noodles <laughs> so without further ado adios amigos and as always stay beautiful my loves Mwah. yeah put that we not